In this video, I'll be using the push and morph transition to show the advantages and disadvantages of this particular vehicle. So what you can see on your screen is what we are going to be recreating. Good. Now I quickly just remove these text boxes. Then I go to insert. I insert a rectangle. Then I make sure this rectangle fills up the entire workspace like this. I right click. Then I go to format shape. You select no line. For the fill, you select a solid fill. Then you select this one. Good. I go to insert again, then I come to shapes. Then I select the rectangle and drag like this. Then I format this shape. Take out the line. Then give it a solid fill. This should do. Then I close the pane again. Drag this to the extreme right. Then you can adjust the size like this. Come to insert again. Then I insert a 3D model of a vehicle that I'll be using. Now I downloaded this picture from sketchfab.com. You can feel free to search that up on the internet. I'll quickly just change the orientation of this vehicle. So I'll be using one of these presets. This one should do. Then for the height and width, I'll adjust. Good. You should have something like this. Quickly just change the position of this vehicle. You can keep making little adjustments to make sure you have precision. Then I change the alignment of this um, vehicle on the background. Good. I keep doing this until I have what I desire. I come back to insert. Then I insert a text box. Now I type out this. Good. I'll change the font size to 36. Then also I'll change the font to Arial Black. Good. Come to insert and insert another text box. Now I'll quickly just type out the advantages of this vehicle like this. Good. Now I select all text boxes. Go to shape format, go to align, then I align left. I also distribute vertically like this, then adjust the position of these text boxes. Come back to insert, then come to pictures. Now I'll be inserting an icon. This is the icon I'll be inserting. I downloaded this from flaticons.com. Feel free to search that up on the internet. Quickly adjust the size of this icon. Good. Now you should have something like this. Good. I duplicate the slide. I edit some things within this text box, then I move to the extreme right. Good. Should have something like this. I select this background, then I delete. Then I do this. Perfect. Now I delete this icon also. I'll move this vehicle to the extreme left like this. Good. can do this to the text boxes you have. Clear out the text within this text box. Then I type out this. I'll quickly just copy and paste the other text here. Good. Now this is what I want. You can feel free to create your text boxes and type out the text you can see on my screen currently. Now this is what I have. Come back to insert, then I insert a picture. Good, this is the icon I'm inserting. I can adjust the size like this, then I drag to the right. Perfect. Come to shape format, then you can align to middle of the yellow background. 
come to transitions then i give this slide the push transition now this is not the effect i desire i go to effect options then i select from right now this is what i desire good I right click on this then i duplicate this slide once more i select all this text boxes and the icon then i move to the right i select this vehicle then i drag to the middle like this i'll change the orientation good i want it to to face forward like this go to insert then i insert an, an icon good this is the icon this is a flag then i adjust the size of this flag i come to insert then i insert the text box i quickly just type out thank you good i change the size then also the the font to elephant good should have something like this then just adjust the position of the text box and also little of the vehicle should have something like this now i select this text box then i drag it around I control C, then I come to the second slide and paste here, then I drag upwards. Now I should have it somewhere around here. Then I just play with the size of this two a little. Good. Reduce the size a little also. Then I also reduce the size of this flag also. Come to the third slide, go to transitions, then add the morph transition. Now this is what you should have. Quickly come to the first slide, then I do a slideshow and good this is what you should have thank you for sticking with us and like the video if at all it helped